and welcome back. Chris continuing with my God of War run. So in the last video, we were introduced to the stranger. Kratos, after a brutal, brutal battle, <laughs> finished him off. And now we we set our sights on the journey to the mountain. So just going to continue on. And it's going to be quite a journey. This video is going to be a bit longer because there's a lot that I want to cover. So <laughs> there's the aftermath of Kratos' battle. How did this happen? <laughs> it's happened because Kratos was uh, fighting for his life there. We're nobodies. Did you kill him? I did what had to be done. Yeah, one thing I'm interested in seeing is just how. Never leave me alone again. All right. All right. How the movement is gonna go come God of War Ragnarok? Kill people before, haven't you? You're used to it. We do. Right now, Atreus it just hops on a Animals Kratos' is back every time he climbs up or goes They're across a narrow ledge. They're supposed to be dead. But, but in people. Ragnarok, he's gonna be a little They're bit too to old for that. Too. So I wonder Close if he's going to be climbing to beside Kratos, or journey, just what they're going to do with that. Of creature. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. I love how even in a scene like this, where it seems like it's just... I understand. Just uh, meaningless uh, travel. Kratos still gives a little bit of advice along the way. So there's a few things to get here. We'll get there in a second. Good idea. Right. Yeah, so you knock down the barrel that was up there. You gather a couple of the hack silver. And then you just help Atreus up. So up you go, little buddy. And he becomes like our little helper here. In the beginning, uh, you pretty much have to prompt him to do anything. So you'll see in a second, you have Boy. to prompt him to throw the chain down. As the game progresses, he starts doing that automatically. Because they get more comfortable in their travels together. And... They just have... They uh, start doing things without having to tell the other person to do it. Up to a certain point. <laughs> At a certain point, things change for a little bit. And anybody that's played the game knows what I'm talking about. When Atreus becomes a little bit more difficult for a while. Alright, so up we go. And one thing I like about the climbing in this game is... In many ways it reminds me of the Uncharted series where... Except... Unlike that, the uh, areas that you can climb, they don't really light up. But they are outlined by the uh, gold paint. And here you can actually kick the chain down. And I just do it out of habit, but I don't really think that there's any point coming back here because I don't believe there's any secrets in this area. And if there are, there's not really any point in going through the shortcut. I just do it out of habit. So you can see that the detail in this game is just amazing. Their house is down there by Kratos' feet. And you can see where but Baldur smashed in the roof the there. Broken there. He's pointing to where the stave was broken, and you can see... Did you cut those down? It's a nice even line across all the trees she until you reach that spot where it's clear where there's an opening. Why'd she do that? And it's interesting, Kratos here is starting to come to realize that He's not the only one that had secrets. Perhaps his wife oh. had secrets as well. No Wasn't telling him now. everything. But that's a time that's something for another time. And I like that you can throw the axe and the further away you are, the longer it takes to come so, to you. So you can actually to get to the mountain. end up going a great distance know. from it. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. Uh, Atreus acting like a kid there. Just asking a lot of questions and Kratos getting a little bit annoyed and impatient. And impatient. So you definitely want to... Oh, 
All right, so <laughs> anytime you can get the finishing blow off in one hit, definitely take advantage of it because it's, oops. So we have a little bit of a battle here, but we're skilled enough that we can get through it pretty easily, I hope. Yeah, it really helps to take out anybody that fires the projectiles first. So I think there's a couple in this battle. Um, all right, I think I got... Yep, that was the one that threw the threw the projectile down there. All right, so the other guy that fires fireballs is up there right now and if we can stay just out of his line of sight So anytime you can get into a position where you avoid the fire, that's good. All right, so the guy that shoots fire is right up there. And he doesn't have very much health, but he can be a nuisance. I know when Give Me God of War, they are such a nuisance on that difficulty. Them, but it looks like I got through that pretty well. Yours, but only when safe to do so. Okay. I can do that. So here we Look come here. across our first rune. Sir. And one thing I really enjoy about this game as well is that you're There's not always stuck yes. in one space as read the writing. he's reading everything. Just the language is mother now. So, up we go. We're all sort of connected, so sometimes I can feel my way through stuff I shouldn't know. And this part, you, know? you always have to be a little bit careful because a uh, blue guy appears suddenly, and you have to get the blocking done pretty early. <laughs> all right, so he went down easily. And we are well on our way. This is where we actually come across our first power-up for the axe. Speed you get Hell's Touch from here. And what it does is it provides like a flash for your axe that interrupts and knocks back all nearby enemies. So it just guides you through. You pretty much have to manually put everything on there. And yep, yeah, put that on. It does damage and it has a good amount of stun, so that's going to be useful for the fight coming up. And we could use experience for upgrading that, but what I would rather do is uh, get a couple other things. So just uh, skip that, go to skills, and let's get... My favorite is definitely the shield that um, somewhat stuns them. So we don't have enough for that one. Nope. So this is the one I want to get. So I need a bit more experience before I get that. So just have to wait a little bit. All right. And now we progress on. Oh. <laughs> it makes you cast the... Ah, wrong one. Okay. So you have to block and then... There we go. 
So Thanks. it does make you uh, cast There's a spell before continuing Not on. Yet. <laughs> All right, it's so fine. Atreus is a little bit impatient, and he's about to get us into some trouble. <laughs> Father, help! Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! His impatience is Stay costing us. Home. Almost there! But this part's interesting, too. I remember watching the developers for this game, and you can see that Kratos is... <sighs> Completely willing to take so the hit for a trace. Slow down. And your haste will cost us. He just goes like Sorry. he takes the brunt of the fall damage there. <laughs> but Atreus didn't learn oh, anything. Drawler. Rushed ahead to he's the bridge and now he's rushing to look dead? at the Draugr. I mean more and dead? goes and gets us into another Boy. bit of trouble. Boy. Not dead, not dead. Remember, accuracy over speed. So in this area, you actually can knock everything off the edge there if you're a little bit more cautious and strategic. But here is the first part where the enemies will start to grab Atreus and... Not much you can really do about that. Oh, so we have our air guys up there. So if you can take those guys out easier. And there we go. So we got rid of the guy that shoots out fire at us. All right, so one more to go. All right. <laughs> I'm actually getting through this game pretty smoothly so far. Take even more time. It does not matter if you fire only once. So control. Like with a stone down there, you have another one here that Atreus can look at, and this one actually has uh, something that goes into your lore books. So, look at this. mark it down, Atreus. Read it. Read it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this used to be a marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. So, anytime you come across any lore by holding up. You can read it in the journal. The We're not really going to bother with that right now. And this is where I might end up using the Spartan Rage. Just because these guys are a bit of a nuisance. Actually, I don't think you can knock these guys off. But if you're good, you can carry them a lot. Yeah, might as well just unload on these guys while you can. These guys do hit pretty hard, though. All right, there we go. <laughs> 
that was a bit tougher than I was expecting, but at least those, uh, those guys are down. And now we progress upwards, so. Uh. Uh, do you hear that? Oh, this is where what you're is introduced to one of the most annoying Stay enemies in the close. game. The Spectre is one that, what even after that? playing multiple times, I still you? hate it. <laughs> of course we're going towards the danger, Atreus. You think, uh... So you pretty much have to take these guys out with your um with your fists because oh excellent i got him stunned just enough that i can get in the blows and and okay so that wasn't as bad as i thought it would be but man, the revenants are definitely a pain in the butt. Especially if you can't get that stun meter off, then they can end up taking a long time. So you have two options here. You can either go up, which continues, or down. And we're going to try going down just to see if we can uh, get the chest and take out this guy here. So yeah, he's a bit tougher. So unlike the other large guys, you pretty much are stuck just dodging this guy because his blows are going to basically take you out easily. All right. <laughs> it was a bit of a cheesy way of taking him out, but that guy pretty much out levels us. So there's not much we can really do. And we start getting some more materials for... Our other items. Uh, I think there's supposed to be something else down here. Boy. Sorry. Imagination. Uh, I kind of wasn't paying attention, so. Uh, Atreus talking about how there might be a whole bunch of the revenants up there ready to ambush us. We don't want that. Revenants are a major pain. Look up there. So that is where we have to go. But you never want to miss any chests in this game. The more items you get, the better. All right, what do you have to say? Yeah. Follow me. Follow me. Yeah, I think at this rate, I'm pretty much ready for the next uh, God of War. So what we want to do here is I jumped a little bit too early. I think you actually have to get the yeah, you have to get the other one from over here. And off in the distance, you can see that you have a K there, or not a K, but a symbol. Out of it, boy. Speak no more of this. Yeah, we'll get closer. But you see that there's a couple symbols here that are tied to the chest. Much like the first one you encounter. Oh, and can we actually hit the one up there? Okay, yeah, we can hit that bridge. Alright, so that's not really too important. You don't really have to do that. Because you get up close to that anyway. But... Yeah, there's a couple of those that we have to hit. And the third and final one is... Oh, and actually, if you look a little bit closer, you can see that there's a green bird up there. There. <laughs> those are Odin's eyes. He's always watching. There's another character I'm interested if he's going to be making an appearance in God of War Ragnarok. It'll be interesting to see just how they portray him. You kind of have me, you kind of picture Odin looking similar to Zeus with the white hair, but instead of, I'll have the eye patch. 
So, we almost have our first health upgrade. And this is where we come across another fairly difficult battle. Alright, so we got this guy here. And we can take him out fairly easily. Alright. So he's done for. But then we have a couple more that come in. I don't like how they have a revenant here. So they really push you here. But yeah, if you use Atreus's arrows well, then you can easily take out the Revenant. So I think the Revenant's probably the biggest threat here. But they really make you work for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with the Spartan Rage and try and take out the Revenant quickly first. That was kind of a waste. I don't normally use the axe this much, but with the revenant there, you want to avoid taking as dam much damage as possible. Alright. There we go. Shoot. Ah. Take these guys out. Yeah, so this is actually a fairly difficult battle. That Revenant is definitely the biggest pain. But he's almost down. That was exhausting. Gotta say, of this area, that's actually the toughest part of it. So. But we were able to get through, so now what we do is we... Lower, or, yeah, lower the bridge a little bit. And then just break the seal there. You did it. We did it. Alright. So there's not a ton to get around this area. Uh, we don't really need any more health upgrades, which is good. But now we can just progress on. <laughs> and there's a few really big events coming up. A bit more character introduction, so we're going to get through that. And just carry on with the game. All right. So I like how this part, you're all essentially you walking. You think it's safe in there? You think it's safer out here? <laughs> Good point. Hmm. Oh, what's that smell? Now! Are they Hellwalkers? They're untouched. Look. Someone start the fires! Sigmund, you're nice. So many days without meat. <laughs> meat? Wait, to us? Behind me. What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. A time. This fight That's is pretty brutal. Own. 
One more there. <laughs> yeah. This part's really interesting. No, I don't want to skip. This is a great cutscene. Atreus. Atreus takes him out. And you rush over just as fast as you can. God, the emotion in this game is awesome. You can see that first time actually taking a life <laughs> takes its toll on him. No words really need to be said at this part. <laughs> Close your heart to it. Come then. We have a long journey. I like how he gives a trace a little bit of time to get himself in check here. So even in God of War difficulty, I don't think you can call on a trace for help. Yep, just always keep repositioning yourself so you're you never have one of them at your back, if possible. And here we go, finishing off the first of three. Might as well use the God of War while I can. Build up that meter. Or drain that meter so I can start building up again. And there we go. So the three are down. They came back. They came back. It is finished. I want to leave here. Then collect yourself. We must find a way out. Here. That chain. Yeah, I like how Atreus doesn't really rush to come over here. He's sort of just standing there and kind of walks over slowly. But you can hurry it up. I just have to go, the go there. But. Okay. Just a great, great scene. God, so many games that really do have good scenes in them. Some really good writing. But this one is one that really hits home. I like how he goes very slowly here, and you have to prod him along several times. Atreus, the chain. The chain, right. <laughs> Pauses again. You are in your head, boy. Let you are in go. your head. Let it go. He would have killed you. I know, I had to do it. Yeah. I didn't do that, I just... Yeah, even though he knows it, I imagine that actually taking a life would we sit with you. Home, boy. <laughs> what? You give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no. I'm not giving up. I can do uh, this. I just have to, you know, catch my breath. A little bit of dad psychology up. there. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, you want to give up? Fine, we'll give up. We'll go home. <laughs> Quitting so close to the start. Uh. Yep, Kratos' lines are just phenomenal in, this, phenomenal in this game. So that's where he came through, so I believe that there should be another chest along here. Listen to me. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. 
You must be a warrior. I understand. Right. So this little set of stones here definitely takes, definitely comes into play later. And this is where the raven was in the beginning there. The one that I took out fairly early. So we don't have to take that one out. And you can sit there listening to Brock gripe for... Oh, wait, actually. So we have another one here. So two ravens taken out. And this is where we're introduced to one of my favorite characters in the game, Brock. The tough-talking... <laughs> tough-talking dwarf. <laughs> Can't get this slow-eyed cock lump to cross the bridge. <laughs> Because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you throw your axe. It uh, scares them off easily. And that's a cool return. You were right. Say, you must be smart or something, boy. <laughs> You are a boy, aren't you? <laughs> you are a boy, aren't you? Man. Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't never asked mine, <laughs> so I ain't never asked hers. Uh. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at <laughs> God, there's something about Brock that Say just cracks that. me up. You're not gonna believe me, but... That axe you got. Uh, it was me what made her. <laughs> me and my brother. Was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. <laughs> you gotta handle her special. Or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, Brock, so you're you? hilarious. Ah. You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, digger <laughs> beat ya, Doomberg. The fuck off. So, that they worked hard on it, but me look how basic it looks at I the beginning. Of it right here, see? <laughs> look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. I love how Brock operates things throughout the game. It's just he'll put it there and like so, tap it with a hammer. It's like it's better oh, now. My young brother's got it, but uh, I got all the talent. Look, that's what your brother says. He's got now all the talent too. Talking. All right, so we can do upgrading. He's given us the frozen flame, so we might as well use that. And just upgrade the axe a little bit. So. Gives us an upgrade of 20 strength. And we'll go with that. And you can see just where it lies for everything else. But anybody that's played this game knows all that. So we're just going to continue on. Rush through this. Upgrade the axe. And there we go. You can see got a little bit of little bit of a visual upgrade. All right, so that's basically it. And we're just going to continue on now. And do, 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 do. Oh, OK, so crafting. We don't really have to do anything for crafting. We're going to skip all that for now. Well, don't look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. So Go now we on, get to test get out this axe. Is <laughs> Alright, 
Let's stop hiding all the way over here and take him out. All right, so one down. Two down. And might as well freeze you up. And here we go. Last one is going down. All right, that's all three of them. Your paw can kill. You gonna learn to do that too? I'm not sure. This road, it leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Want to see my wares again? So you can see what he has, but at the beginning we don't really have a lot. But you can always talk to him too. What else you need? <laughs> How come your brother's got half your brain? Because I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. <laughs> I wasn't about to let him use it without me, and he likewise. Only thing to do was put the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. So? What? You want a hug? <laughs> Come, boy. All right. So there's a couple things around here. If you go down this way, you can find the next set that we have to collect. So the Faces of Magic, there's... Nine altogether, and I don't remember the location of all of them, but we have that one. We have, uh, let's see, the bridge that I knocked down before was somewhere over here. Yep. And uh, we can climb that, or we can jump down here, and then we can climb down the chain, and that takes us to the place that we just left. To fight alone. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight. Until I say stop or we are dead. Understand? Pull your weight or we go. Yeah. Good then. Alright. So, one other thing you can do is open up the gate here. Which does give you a bit of a shortcut, but we don't really have to go Wait, back here. Yeah, this here is where then. we just were. So, yeah, nothing else we need here. And, it's, nope, no items. So, we're just gonna backtrack now. It always helps to get the rage ones too because building up your rage it gives you just that little bit of boost of damage that you'll use and oh we almost missed a chest here all right so that's done uh and i did get the chest over there so that's good all right so now we continue on with the game cool. and it was nice meeting you Bob. i'll be thinking of a name for your beast how about a name or fucking gratitude <laughs> Hey, fucking gratitude, come over here. I like it. Ah, uh, Brock just kills me in this game. Okay. Hey, what's your hinds in there? That place could bust you up real good. Uh... I think we'll get through no problem. I hope anyway. So yeah, there's nothing else to do here. And I don't think there's any secrets that you have to backtrack for in this area. But... We'll see. So anywhere that has the this way, the spot like that, hit it with the axe and open it up. So this one, you can actually hit multiple times and open it up all the way to the end. And that actually opens up this area here where there's another chest. So if you're going through on New Game Plus, getting any of these chests starts, starts uh, building up your scalp spike quite a bit. So, there's a couple things that you can do in this area. What you can do is, first you have to get the roof up, but you can use the spikes on the door to really do quite a bit of damage to these guys. And freeze that. And there's a little bit of a bit of fighting to be done here. So even though you can't really fall here, uh, the enemies can, and it's an easier way to take them out. Alright, so we took out two. Alright, so that takes them out pretty easily. Now what we want to do is... Uh... 
have to worry about these guys yeah there's uh actually we might have to backtrack a little bit there but before we do what we're gonna do is go over here sure and we'll trust I will not let us die yeah there's a couple little things to do in this area so you can see that the blue sparkles are over there there's another one here and there's another one just right up there so, in order to get the third one, what we have to do... There we go. Alright, so all three are gotten. And now we just have to wait, and then we can get the chest here. And I believe that's... Actually, I think there is a little bit more to get. So what we're going to do is just a tiny bit of backtracking, because I missed something that was in the second part of that area. So, the blood mead will help increase our rage. Just like with the hearts, it takes three. Oh, and we have a chest over here as well. So, we are just going to jump down here. And... Oh, we're back here. Yeah, yes we are. But, there's a reason, don't worry. Alright. So we don't have to put it up too much, but yeah, there was just a chest here that I missed. So I just want to make sure that I get that for the hack silver. And yeah, there's nothing else to really get here. So now we continue on with the game and we have another item here. So that's the second mask. And up we go. So we are entering another area. Getting pretty close to the mountain. Wow. Never been this close to the mountain before. Looks so big. Yep. I wish Mom was here to see it. Yeah, multiple times through the game, it looks like a Kratos is going to put his hand on Trey's shoulder or something, but it's not until later when the relationship actually develops that he proceeds to do oh, that, boy. because right now they are still strangers. So, what we're going to do is, there's another item here to get. So we have three of the nine masks. And... Hey, look at that! What is it? It's a riddle. Boy. Look, there are runes written along the side. What does it say? As we are, we two, we three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. hmm. What could it possibly mean? So what we do is get this started. And there we go. Can we jump down? Yes, we can. All right. So what we're going to do is... No, I missed it. All right. So the other one is... Freeze that and then... I think that part's right. So what we want to do now is just freeze the middle, and... So it is... almost there. There we go. That's it! I see runes! Boy, what do, they what do say? those runes say? Oh, it says... family. That's not a clue. It's the answer. Yeah. What I alone can never be. Right? Use your knife and trace the runes into the sand. Really? Good thinking. Kinslow. Something happened. Yeah, I like the little riddles in this game. They're not overly complicated, but they are fun enough to go through. Right. And there's a couple things you can get in the cave here. So, it is behind if you go now. this way, you can get an item, and that's four faces of magic. So there's that, and then in one of the other areas, 
you can find uh, another one of Odin's eyes. So it's actually one of the more annoying ones to find. You can see that the bird is that up there? right up there. But because of the sunlight, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see. So we at least got it pretty easily, though. All right, and now we come across our next little boss fight. Actually, this is the wrong way. So we go this way. No, I think this is where we just came from. Okay, yeah. Boy, these tracks. Hmm. A boar, maybe? Not sure, but I'll find it. <laughs> Go. You'll find it and what? It is important for a warrior to keep his skills sharp. Alright, so we got our next little boss fight here. So it's very similar to the last troll. Just uh, whittle away at them. Watch out for the feet. And watch out for the poison that they shoot. It doesn't matter how many of the enemies you kill along the way. They do keep respawning. as much as you can. So I need to go get that health upgrade. <laughs> Boy, those guys are annoying. And they can whittle away your health so quickly in this game. that fire can really take you down pretty quick. Alright, so there's one more around here somewhere. Where are you? Okay, so we got the heavy rune attack. So let's put that in. There we go. Now our axe has a couple of extra abilities. There we go. And one more. All right, so that is all of them. So there is uh, actually a puzzle here that you can get, so Unlike with the other ones. Mjolnir. The fate. No good comes from them. Okay. Kratos would know. He's faced the fates already. Alright. So there's a couple little things to gather around here as well. And... You throw down the chain automatically. Yep. So, Atreus is starting to get it now. 
so here we find, I think, another lore item. Yep, Look here. so Atreus gets those pretty easily. Huh, interesting. I may want to write that down. Right. So we have another item there. Uh, I believe there's another chest up here. Or maybe another Faces of Magic. Nope, just uh, hack silver. Alright, so. There's one bell there. And then... Two and three. So, what we want to do is... Hit the bell. Go! Did we get it? Yep. So we got the chest all unlocked, and this gives us a an apple or... Alright, so we got our first health increase. Perfect. And that is basically it for here. So, what else? Some more hack silver. Boy, are you your animal ahead? I knew it was a boy. So this is where we're introduced to another one of the main characters. This entire world seems pretty devoid of characters that we actually interact with. Most of it's just enemies. Shoot me already. Remember, draw to your chest. The wild boar's height is thick. So the hunting games aren't really too intensive, too interactive. But Could we can take him out, or we can uh, get through them cr pretty quickly. But it's just what a little think? bit of interaction. It looked weirder than any boar I've ever seen. Yes, it did. It a lot of runes on it. It's, must be magical. Stay alert. More of those people. Something else. <laughs> so this village has quite a few things around it. Uh, Some of the those weird dead things. Oh, we have a chest in here. So a lot of little hidden crevices in this area. And no, nothing there. Uh, we can break through this wagon. And behind it we find nothing on that side. But I remember that there were a couple things that you had to get here. There's Draugr here too. Um, they must have been fighting. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. I could have sworn that there were supposed to be items behind here. Oh well, what can you do? I guess I was mistaken. Um, that's where we came from. So, on we go. Anything in here? Time to just ransack the village. Okay. Maybe it was behind here that the face... Yep, another face of magic. So as we come up here, a guy comes out and we block and take him out as well. God, that's a brutal way to go. But there's very few enemies around here. Um, I think there's supposed to be a spot that Kratos... Or sends Atreus up. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, it's right up here. Okay. So there is... It's supposed to be something here. Oh, just another chest. Alright, so I think that's essentially everything you have to get in this area. Yeah, we covered it. Um... Alright, go down. And the enemy broke out of, I think... It was coming up. Uh, anything in this house? Oh, the entire hut just collapses. Alright. So we've already been here. So this is where the guy burst out. Um, yep, that's all that's in this area. Alright, so now we continue on with the story.
Now you got him, Atreus. Elbow up, steady hand, relax. And go for the soft underbelly. There we go. Yes. Do not lose it. Somebody wasn't paying attention. You dropped your knife, Atreus. And now we just have to follow him. Boy. So this area I always get a little bit lost in. Ah, uh, so we go over that, and then we go to the left, I think. Nope, not here. And then, nope, it wasn't that way. It was, <laughs> it's so easy to get lost in this part. All right, that's where we just came from. So this leads to dead ends. And all right, it's, it's got to be through here. And then I think to the. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> Just a little bit of a maze, and Kratos freaking out when he loses them. <laughs> Calm down, Kratos. We didn't know he belonged to anyone. He doesn't. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. What? The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target so if you hold down the two trigger buttons for this part, I'm, I'm it so, goes so a lot sorry. quicker. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You, the arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it. I got and it. Hold. Now the right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. There we go. You're a witch. You're a witch. I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Hmm. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Greyfall. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see her magic in God of War Ragnarok as well. Because I think in this game, she's sort of hindered by the curse that's on her. But once that's lifted for the next game, she's really going to cut loose and become a very that difficult opponent. For you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. Said I'd go into it. I've never seen you in these words. She must miss you being away from home. She. She's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, this... Her home seems so impractical. Underneath a giant turtle, and... I remember watching the developers talk about this game. They just... They wanted a giant turtle in the game We're for here. some reason, so... In a tree? That's why in it. it's there. Below it. Hemile! Hmm. Look! It's all right. But, if you're going to be developing a cool, magical world, why not have just fantastical things in it? A weird boar with a lot of runes on it. Is it friendly? Stags with strange blue Boy. antlers. And a turtle house. He's safe. So you don't get to return to this part till quite a bit later. But her area has quite a bit of secrets in it as well. You won't hurt anyone. <laughs> yep, yeah, Atreus seems to have an affinity with animals. I wonder how that's going to play off in the next one, too. And then the boar is starting to freak out. It's, it's getting a little bit closer. Makes you wonder just why it's so nervous. Place him on the stave there. 
Keep him still. Right. You live alone? Uh. It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. <laughs> Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Easy. Rest now. I need two more things. Fresh red root growth just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? What else? I... I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. So Kratos' secret isn't so it secret is no after all, not to her. About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. Don't the worry, boy we know what answers. to do. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. Makes you wonder just how old some of the characters in this game are. Quest. Do you mind? Because the white petal flower in my garden? if her son Stand is full. the age that he is, and she's been around for a long Fine. time, and lambs, Chris. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody watching this has seen some of the uh, the voice acting, but <laughs> this part's just great. Lambs, Chris. Uh. And the voice acting scene as he's going out is like, I'm the effing god of war. And here I am collecting flowers. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. Now we go back and we find Atreus. And give him a little bit more of our Kratos hey, wisdom. No. I can't... <laughs> Would this help? <laughs> I dropped it? When you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? If I... If I lost it, then... You did lose it. <laughs> if I lost it, but you did lose it. <laughs> I'll take uh, care of it from now on. See that you do. Uh, dialogue in this game is awesome. Alright, so that takes care of uh, everything we have to do here. So then we return, and the entrance is right over here. We have everything we need for the witch. How exactly what I need. How come my plants don't do stuff like that? Just light up magically. So he's gonna live? Yes. Then we are leaving. Wait. Not without thanks. What could she possibly offer? Yeah, Kratos just doesn't trust you want easily. Solitude? This mark will hide you from those who might make your journey difficult. Very well. Do it. <laughs> yeah, just that little bit of personality to her before putting the rune on, cleans his cheek. Yeah, they really developed the characters here well. Safely out of these woods. Follow this path down, then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. <laughs> oh boy. Little nod of gratitude there, respect between them. This underground passage should put you back on your path to the mountain. Yep. Just use the boat. Wait, and take this. You can use it to orient yourself and navigate the world. 
It will always steer you towards your goals. All right. So I think that's where I'm going to call this video. Got quite a bit done. We left the home, went through quite a bit of a uh, journey to meet Brock. Brock is just awesome. Uh, he's definitely my favorite character in this game. Went a little bit further, met the witch, took out another boss. And yeah, I think that's a good point to call it. So thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll have the next video up pretty soon. But I think that's a good uh, call for the, or a good end to this video. So until then, see you next time. Have a good night, all. Bye.